if the temperature continues moving up, eventually most of the farmers want to see. If this keeps happening, I will not be able to have a cup of coffee a day. He hardly in a sumbua. Esto es un problema. Afecta las hojas y afecta los granos. People may suffer, so something needs to be done. Sasa pale tunaweka migomba hii inafunika mti ambao hauwezi kupata jua lile la moja kwa moja. Coffee, forest, food, community. It all go together. Agriculture should follow the rules of the natural context. Santanita is the first carbon neutral farm in the world. We are empowering women to deal with climate change. I'm very positive that we are going to make a change. In some ways, nature calls our attention. I'm not sure if the consumers really understand that it's about protecting all of us. In coffee, rices are very competitive. We are trying to adapt. Now, who pays for that? What is the best way of capturing carbon out of the air? In fact, it's the only way, storing it in plants and in soil. Agroforestry is a 3D system with trees and shrubs and lower plants as well. So down low, you might have vegetables of various kinds. In the shrub layer, you might have fruits. In the top layer, you might have nuts, for example. I specifically include plants for pest control. One way of doing that is to include plants that flower and whose flowers attract beneficial insects that eat your pests. Chestnut flower can be used instead of normal wheat flour. The yield of uh, flour from a sweet chestnut orchard can be the same as from a field of organic wheat. So one thing you don't see here in the forest garden is the bare soil because everywhere there is plant growth over the soil surface. So by designing this group of species that all work together, we're trying to mimic a natural ecosystem. 